Here's a list of items that will for sure make you scratch your head and wonder if basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal has got some serious problems. No, really, prepare to have your mind shattered harder than this backboard. Because here are 8 crazy expensive things Shaq owns that cost more than your life. Coming in hot with number 8. It all began in 1992 when Shaq received his first fix as a member of the Orlando Magics, which led to an outrageous buying spree of multi-million dollar mega mansions. It all started with the ridiculous purchase of a 31,000 square foot lakeside mansion in Orlando, Florida. The house boasts a 17-car garage, an NBA-sized basketball court in the center, 12 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and all other kinds of luxurious facilities. The entire mansion is valued at $16.5 million. And after this purchase, Shaq was instantly hooked. Over the course of the next 17 years, he went on to buy six additional mega mansions in America's greatest cities, including one in Vegas, two in LA, one in Phoenix, and an $18.8 million property in Miami. But this last one is unique because Shaq only spent $1 million on his Atlanta mansion. Who knows what he was thinking? What do I know that his entire collection of mansions is valued at over $48 million? Is there such a thing by death by poorness? Probably not. After all, Shaq got all these properties for a reason. I mean, he needs room to store all the other ridiculous things he's buying. Like our next item on the list, dead people. You heard that right, dead people. Check this out. Over the years, Shaq invested in a variety of businesses, including Five Guys, Papa John's, and even Krispy Kreme. But Shaq was looking for an even better investment back in 2018, something that would blow away the competition. So, he met with the Authentic Brands Group, a $10 billion brand management organization, to make the deal of a lifetime. Shaq sold the privileges to his own name for around $270 million. Now, this is where the dead people come in. You see, Shaq just didn't buy another six mansions. Oh, no. He shocked the world when he revealed that he reinvested the cash and now owns the name of other significant icons on the planet. The most notable figures are Marilyn Monroe and Elvis Presley. Who owns Marilyn Monroe? Talk about a big man with an even bigger brain. Shaq is literally out there spending $135 million on dead people's names. Mind blowing. You're probably thinking there's nothing crazier than spending that much money on a couple of names, right? Wrong. Shaq has another possession valued at even more than the $135 million he spent on dead people. See, in 2002, Shaq made the decision to start investing in real estate with some of his NBA funds. His first act was to purchase 21 housing developments in Colorado for thousands of low-income families at the price of $100 million. So basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal is now technically the biggest landlord in the country. But this one little transaction was just the beginning of Shaq's property investment career. Because in 2019, he collabed with Barrett Development to construct his very own Shaq Tower, a 22-story building with 168 luxury residences. And this single structure is worth a total of $80 million. Even though $80 million sounds absurd, not long after that, Shaq said he was building another 33-story lavish apartment complex named the house that Shaq built in Newark that would cost even more money. It's supposed to include restaurants, a rooftop plaza, and private lounges. Now that it has been discovered that this structure is worth $150 million, the total value of Shaq's real estate holdings sits at an astounding $330 million. This definitely ranks as the most ridiculously costly item owned by Shaq thus far. But true craziness is not simply measured in dollars, but by the things you buy with those dollars. And so far, we've established just how crazy Shaq is with his spending. Which is why it's no surprise that Shaq spent more money on his fish tank than you did on your entire house. Yep, he rang up the fellas on Animal Planets and requested for the wildest fish tank they could dream of. So, that's absolutely what they handed him. This 800-gallon aquarium with three rare grouper fish, a Japanese karako eel, and three customized Sphinx hookah statues 
bring the overall cost of his fish tank to $120,000. Shaq might lose 120 k today and not even realize it, but at least now he's got some cool fish to look at. Speaking of other foolish things Shaq owns that cost more than your home, the guy has also spent an insane amount of money on a treehouse. Yes, Shaq decided to lead the TV program, Treehouse Masters in 2018, to create the treehouse of his desires. But this is no ordinary treehouse. It's got a handmade metal fire pit, a unique 9-foot mahogany door, and an exquisite tent ceiling. Inside is a poker table, a dartboard, a bar area, and an original portrait of Dr. Diesel. This thing truly has it all. You can show your gratitude to those dudes all you want, Shaq, but you still have to pay $400,000 for a treehouse. All right, let's face it. $400,000 is a lot of money to spend on a wooden hut the size of an actual house. Now, what if you purchase some of these ridiculous things for someone else as a gift? Does that make it any less stupid? Well, I'll let you decide on this next one. You see, in 2014, Shaq unleashed a bombshell in an appearance on USA Today when he stated that every time a new iPhone comes out, he buys about 50 of them. Every time iPhone comes out, I buy 50. 50 iPhones? Yes, I pass them out. What do you do out. with 50 iPhones? I pass them out. If Shaq had bought 50 of each iPhone released since 2014, he would have spent nearly a million dollars on phones. On the bright side, he would give them the youngsters and tweeted, Hey, this is Shaq. If you want an iPhone, uh, hit me up. Yeah. If you too want Santa Shaq to buy you an iPhone next Christmas, he said all you have to do is subscribe to this channel. Seriously. Now this next million dollar purchase actually got Shaq bullied by some of his fans. Namely this 72 foot Pershing yacht. It has a kitchen, three bedrooms, a secret cruise compartment, and even a fruit dish. This thing is nuts. But despite how awesome this yacht is, Shaq was bullied because of it. Yeah, in 2018 Shaq released this picture and requested his fans to help give his yacht a new nickname. A guy nailed Shaq with the roast of all roast, and a dude allegedly said, call it a free throw so you won't ever miss it. Damn, cold-blooded, man. Why'd you have to do Shaq like that? Can't trust Twitter these days. I can't imagine Shaq cares, though, since at the end of the day, he is the one sailing around in a yacht worth $1.75 million. Speaking of luxury vehicles, it's only natural Shaq would fill up his 17-car garage with a bunch of expensive cars. But when it comes to Shaq's modified cars, this man does not hesitate one bit. Shaq basically took an Infiniti G35, which looks like this, and used a custom Vader body kit to transform it into an entirely new car. I'm speaking classics like his vintage 1963 Cadillac Eldorado, the precise car used during the movie Scarface, and his 1964 Chevy Impala that he bought from Snoop Dogg. But his addiction was just getting started. Just check out his Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, which he modified to have unique butterfly wing doors. Ridiculous! But all these cars look like toys compared to Shaq's collection of an ultra-luxury vehicle since, in addition to his Mercedes S550, Porsche Panamera, and Lamborghini Gallardo, Shaq also owns two Ferraris, three Bentleys, and three Rolls Royces in his collection. Damn, if you total up all 40 of Shaq's vehicles, the value of his garage as a whole exceeds $5 million. Wow. All right, which of these spends do you think was the most hilariously absurd? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. As always, subscribe to Mr. Exclusive, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.